Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to, to the channel. Uh, my name is Kenny. Um, so basically, man, I'm gonna just talk to y'all about, um, basically about cancer. Um, so basically, rec uh, recently I was uh, diagnosed with um, with a mass in my pancreas. Um, it's a neuroendocrine tumor. Um, it's called a, 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 a solid pseudo papillary uh, neoplasm of the pancreas, uh, aka a uh, France tumor. Uh, what's today? Today is um. So today is Saturday. Uh, so this Tuesday, I'm on. I'm, undergoing uh, a procedure called the Whipple procedure, uh, also called a, a pancreatic duodectomy, where they're gonna uh, remove the tumor. Uh, it's like a, it's like a six to twelve hour, um, six to twelve hour procedure. Um, while I'll be in the hospital for like, for like they say no less than five days, so like five days up to two weeks. So uh, basically, I'm making this video. I just wanted to document my journey and uh, undergoing a Whipple. Uh, I'm here in Char I'm here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, so I'll be getting my procedure done at the University of Virginia. Uh, here's like a little my uh, like my folder, my recovery folder, my advanced uh, recovery folder. I don't know if y'all can hear this music in the background. I don't know where it came from, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, basically, man, I just wanted to, you know, talk about what was going on. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really had a lot of people I can actually talk to about it. And um, I just kind of want to, I just kind of want to like document, you know, throughout before the Whipple, after the Whipple, uh, recovering, you know, and just like my whole life journey, man. Just, I mean, hopefully, you know, hopefully I make it through. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm like, I'm definitely positive about it. Um, and so you know, if you uh, if you like the video, man, make sure you uh, subscribe, man, hit the uh, notification bell, you know, thumbs up, so you know to help my channel out. This is like, I'm gonna try to drop a video like probably once a week and just update my journey. Like I said, today's Saturday and uh, May 31st, which is Tuesday. I'll be. Uh, undergoing, you know, the Whipple surgery, and and basically, man, um, I don't really know how to go about it, but basically, I can take y'all back to like when I started experiencing problems and how I found out, you know, that I had the tumor. So basically, back in like uh, back in like. I say November of uh, 2021, uh, so November last year, I started having like, I started having like bad acid reflux. I mean like real bad. I mean, I was like, I was like eating food. My food wouldn't go down and like, I mean, it was to the point that I didn't even want to eat. Like that's how serious it was. And um. So I kept going to the hospital or whatever, and they was like, oh, you just got acid reflux, you just got acid reflux. Just a bad case of acid reflux. So they put me on some acid reflux medicine. Um, so, you know, a couple months go by, and you know, I'm still having like these. My abdomen is hurting real bad, my chest hurting. I mean, I'm talking like the most excruciating pain I ever felt. And I was just like, man, I gotta get a check, I gotta get a check, so. I already had an appointment to see my um, to see my doctor or whatever. So when I went back to my doctor, you know, I was letting them know what's going on, and I was like, hey, um, I was like, hey, man, I'm still having these problems or whatever. So he was like, man, what we gonna do is we're gonna draw your blood, and you know, we're gonna check that. You know, we're gonna check your kidneys, your liver, and everything. So you know, they drew my blood, and you know, maybe a couple of days later, I get a message on my chart. You know, it's like an app on your phone. Uh, I get a message on my chart and you know, the doctor sent me a message like, hey, everything's fine, I can assure you. You know, everything's fine, your blood came back, uh, your kidney's fine, you know, your blood level, you know, yada, yada, yada. But I mean, so going on months and months, I'm still having like this bad pain to where like, 
some days I barely could walk. You know, I was always holding my stomach. You know, people like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And um, so, you know, I sent my message. I sent a message to my doctor and I was like, hey, I want to come back and see you again, man. Like something is definitely up. So he was like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a, um, so I think this is about like in January or February, February by now. So he was like, yo, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do an ultrasound. And, uh, no, actually I went and I was like, hey, I want an ultrasound done. Like a friend of mine had told me, like a friend of mine on social media had told me like, you should get an ultrasound done. So I was like, so I had my doctor you know, I was like, man, I want to get an ultrasound done. So he set it up. I get the ultrasound done. So after that, um, basically after that, I get the ultrasound done. I get my results back on my chart. And so my chart came back like, hey, you can have a cyst. So me not actually thinking, I'm like, all right, it's just a cyst, probably not that serious. So my doctor was like, hey, we're going to schedule you to come back in. But then this is like a month later for the schedule. So. I go back in and see him. He like, yeah, you have a cyst on your pancreas. We're going to send you to do an MRI. So I'm like, okay. So I do the MRI. And, you know, a couple days later, again, I get the, you know, I get the message on my chart. And, you know, the message was like, hey, you have a, a 5.7 centimeter tumor, you know, on your pancreas with, you know, some cystic, you know, cystic. So... Me not thinking again because I actually, uh, when they send the messages on my chart and they send your results, you know, it's like scientific, you know, like, so I don't really know, you know, like the language. So I was like, I did see tumor on there, but at the time I was thinking like, uh, so I go back to see my doctor and he was like, you know, he was like, yeah, you have a tumor. So in my mind, I'm like, you know, how, I'm like, do I got to get a check? Cause at this time I'm starting to feel a little better. So. So now I'm like, do I got to get a check, man? I'm all right. I feel fine now. He was like, no, I would definitely get this check. So that's kind of like, that's kind of like when my stress level started coming in. Because the way, the way the doctor said it to me, it was just like, the way he said it, he was just like, we're going to need to get you over to see a gastrologist because this is like something serious. Oh, and actually I left out, um... Actually, I left out from last year, November, when I actually started having a pain. I forgot. I actually went. Um, so then, so early that November, I was scheduled to do an endoscopy because, you know, at the time, I was still talking about my stomach was hurting real bad. You know, the, I had the indigestion, the acid reflux. So, so mind you, I was supposed to have the endoscopy done. So, all in the midst of having this going on. You know, I'm, I'm I'm staying with my mom, and you know, I'm telling my mom, like, you know, something is seriously wrong. She's like, you need to get it checked out. You need to get it checked out. So, you know, by the time I went, they set me up to do endoscopy. You know, my mom, she was going to go with me to the endoscopy and everything. So, two days before my endoscopy, my mom, uh, she passed away. So, you know what I'm saying? That, took a, that definitely took a lot out of me there. there. And uh, so my mom passed away. So, you know, in the midst of, you know, my family setting up funeral arrangements and stuff, you know, I'm still like, man, I can't miss this, you know, endoscopy because they scheduled this endoscopy like like two months ahead of time. So I was like, I didn't want to wait. So I was like, man, I'm going to have to get it done. I'm going to have to get it done. So, so all of this happened. So January actually, so my mom dies like a few days like four or five days before Thanksgiving. No, actually like 10 days before Thanksgiving. So I'm scheduled to have my endoscopy. I'm scheduled, cause I actually did two endoscopies. So I, I did my endoscopy like November the 27th ish. Cause my mom funeral was like a couple of days before Thanksgiving. So I ended up, you know, getting an endoscopy done. So I get the results from the endoscopy and they were like, hey, you have chronic inflammation in your stomach liner. So, but they was like, uh, we see nothing else, no esophagitis, nothing like that. Cause like I said, I was having like, my food was like getting stuck and stuff like that. So, so, um, 
So that's going on. They're like, hey, you have, you know, chronic inflammation in your stomach lining. Um, that's about it. So, so around that time, I'm thinking, you know, it's just my stomach. So in my mind, I'm trying to cure my stomach. So, you know, I'm eating all the right foods. Uh, I'm eating a lot of like uh, probiotic stuff, yogurts, bananas. So like I said, by the time I went to see, so I'm eating, you know, the bananas, you know, eating the probiotic stuff. So I started kind of feeling a little better, but I was still getting this abdomen pain. So kind of fast forward back to when I took the ultrasound, they was like, um, so I took the ultrasound and they was like, boom, do the MRI. So I did the MRI. So they, then they was like, hey, you have a tumor. So I go see my doctor again. He was like, hey, you have a 5.7, you know, centimeter tumor. That's pretty large. We need you to, we're going to send you to go see the gastrologist over, you know, at the cancer center. See here in Charlottesville, we have, you know, UVA hospital, but then it has a UVA like cancer center. So they was like, they scheduled me to go to the cancer center to see the gastrologist. So in my mind, when I see cancer center, that's when I start worrying. I'm like, man, do I got cancer? They just not telling me I got cancer. Cause that like, cause normally when I go to the doctors, like normally when I go to the doctors, I'm scared to ask questions and stuff. So, you know, I'm just like, hey, all right, I got a tumor. So I go home, I think about it, whatever. So, you know, so when he sends the message for my date to see the gast gastrologist and I see the gastrologist is at the, uh, Emily Curry Cancer Center. So now I'm like, that's when the, the worry kicks in. So now I'm like, man, do I got cancer? Whatever, whatever. So I go to the gastrologist at the cancer center. So the gastrologist is like, hey, uh, we might need to do, you know, a biopsy again and, you know, and do what, you know, do an endoscopy and do the biopsy, put you to sleep. You know, the endoscopy is when they put you to sleep, put the camera down. You know, so they was like, hey, we need to do it again. But this time we're going to do it, you know, with the ultrasound needle or something like that. When they like stick the needle in and get a biopsy. So, so I go again for that. And so by this time, it's like, so it's like March. I think it's like March. So I go again and I get it. You know, I get the buy out, you know, I go, I get put to sleep again, I get the that done. So again, they, they sending me messages like, um, like basically we already knew I had a tumor, so they can they knew I had a in, neuroendocrine tumor, but there are different kinds of uh neuroendocrine tumors. So I go see the gastrologist, he was like, Hey, you know, there's no sense of us doing a biopsy and going down there twice you might want to talk to the um to the uh the sur the surgeon that was going to do the removal of the tumor so he was like you might want to talk to the surgeon and there's no sense of us going down there twice to get you know a biopsy you just need to get it removed so they send me uh they give me another appointment to see the surgeon and all of this is still at the cancer center so i go see the surgeon so the surgeon was like Oh man, it's you know it's complicated. You know it's a complicated surgery. You know so uh, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna see. You know we want to see exactly what kind of neuroendocrine tumor it is. So that way, um, we're gonna figure out if you need to do chemo to shrink it first before we remove it, or do we need to, you know, just remove it right away, depending on you know if it's fast growing and if it's metastasized and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, you know, so now, now this is like, I'm really kind of getting scared and stuff. So, you know, I go, I get put to sleep, I do the uh, biopsy, and then I get, you know, I get the results back and they was like, hey, you have a pseudo, a solid pseudo papillary neoplasm. So then again, all of this is like, they sent it to me on a my chart on a message. So, so I, I, you know, I see the pathology results, but I'm still not comprehending on like, what does this mean? Like, is this cancer, is it not? So what I do is I call over there to, you know, speak to the nurses at the surgeon's office. And I was like, hey, I got my results back and I see the results, but I'm not understanding. So they was like, hey, he's gonna, 
you know, he's going to call you. He's going to call you back. He got the results. He took a look at it. He's going to call you and explain everything. So, so like, so maybe like two weeks, like almost a week and a half goes by. I never hear anything from the surgeon. So now, you know, every day I'm worrying. I'm like, man, they sent me the results, but why is he not calling me? Is it not serious? Is it? You know, is it just not serious? And he just, you know, he taking his time. So, so now I'm like, hmm. So, like maybe just a week ago, you know, I, I go see the surgeon. And he was like, hey, you have a, you know, a solid, a solid pseudopapillary neoplasm. He's like, we don't really know much about it. So, basically, uh, what we recommended for you is to get a Whipple surgery. You know, to where we, you know, we take out the tumor. Maybe they said maybe they'll have to take my whole pancreas. Maybe uh, like the tail or the head of the pancreas. Um, I forgot exact details. So he was like, because we really don't know much about it. We don't know if it's like fast growing, uh, if it's cancerous. We don't know much about it. And so you know, I gave. So I was like, hey. He was like, hey. So what do you want to do? So. I was just like, yeah, um, you know, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to get it taken care of as soon as possible. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do the surgery. And, you know, he was explaining to me, like, you know, it's a real complicated surgery where we have to like, like, it's, it's, I can't really explain it, but, but basically from my research, like the solid, uh, pseudo papillary neoplasm is basically like a, it's like a rare form of uh, pancreatic cancer. So in my mind, I'm like, I hear pancreatic cancer, knowing that pancreatic cancer is one of the, it's like one of the most deadliest cancers to have. So in my mind, like till this day, like right now while I'm speaking, making this video, like I'm three days away, four days away from getting the surgery. And man, like my mind is all over the place. So basically that's why I picked this camera up and uh, telling my story only because like I got like friends and family I talk to about it but when I tell them about it in their mind they're just like oh you got a tumor they'll just remove it and that's that people get tumors you know, whether it's benign or malignant people get tumors and they just get it taken out but what they're not understanding is in my pancreas and you know what your pancreas is you know it reg regulates your blood sugar and you know so they don't under they they're not understand they're not comprehending they're like oh it's just a tumor man just get it taken out but i'm like man it's in you know it's in my pancreas it's not just a you know a regular tumor like i had family members that had tumors and stuff like that but you know i'm like hey it's in my pancreas so but basically like i said um I'm supposed to get this Whipple, uh, Whipple surgery done here at University of Virginia Health Center. Uh, we do supposedly have one of like the top rated as hospitals. Um, so uh, basically this is a look at uh, my enhanced recovery folder. Uh, basically, like I said, like I'm gonna try to drop some videos, keep you updated, man. If, uh, this is something, you know, if you wanna hear my story, um, just make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, share it. I don't really care. Um, I just want to tell my story only because I looked on YouTube about the solid uh, pseudopapillary neoplasm. I really couldn't find a lot. I couldn't really find a lot of information about the Whipple surgery. Um, but one thing I do know is Steve Jobs, uh, the owner of Apple, which I'm shooting this video on the Apple phone now, the owner of Apple, he had the uh, Whipple surgery done where he ended up dying like, uh, like seven years later after getting the Whipple surgery done. Um, Aretha Franklin, um, Alex Trebek from Jeopardy, I think he had like the Whipple surgery done. Um, I know they died from like pancreatic cancer. I wanna say Patrick Swayze, um, he had the Whipple surgery done. But like I said, I really couldn't find a lot of information on, I couldn't really find a lot of information on, you know, the Whipple surgery. But like I said, I'm gonna tell my story. Um, so they said I'd be uh, in the hospital, expect to be in the hospital at least five days. Um, they said recovery is like six to eight weeks. Um, basically, I have to change my eating uh, eating habits. Um, if they do take, if they do take my whole pancreas. Oh, another thing is, so they said um, they'll try to uh, keep most of my pancreas if they can. 
Um, they said they won't know until they're like six hours into the surgery whether I can keep the whole thing or not. They're going to try their best for me to keep the whole thing. But somehow it's like the way the tumor is like kind of spread it through all my pancreas and like some arteries or some stuff like that. But uh, long story short, basically if they take my uh, take my whole pancreas, I'll be a diabetic. I have to take insulin and enzymes for like the rest of my life. Which, I mean, I have a brother, and my mom was a diabetic, my brother's a diabetic. Um, I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess being a diabetic beats cancer any day. But, like I said, it's something I think, like, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, document my journey, because, I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. Yes, I do have kids, um, actually just dropped my son off, and, um, I do have kids and stuff, and I mean, like, just in case, you know, just in case something happens to me, you know what I'm saying, I, wanna, I just want a documentary thing put on YouTube, you know, just in case, like, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, to me, it's like, you know, making memories and stuff, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely, like, I'm definitely afraid, I'm definitely nervous about, you know, I'm definitely nervous about the surgery overall, like, I'm already having nightmares, and stuff like that um like i'm just starting to like i don't know i feel like i'm just starting to be by myself a lot now because like when i tell people they 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 don't understand they're just like man it's just a tumor man it's just a tumor but like but like i know because it's like it's definitely bigger you know it's definitely bigger than that yeah it's a tumor um hopefully it is benign um, hopefully, you know, they can remove it with no complications. And, um, I mean, that's what it is, man. Um, I mean, if you, if, if you watch this video, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be checking the comments and stuff, you know, before I had a surgery. If you, if you watching the comment, I mean, you watching the video, make sure you comment, man. Give me some, you know, some words of wisdom, man. Pray for me, you know, just, um. Just definitely, man, drop a comment, man, because, um, like I said, I'm going to try to drop some videos regularly, and I'm just going to update you all on, you know, my recovery, you know, getting back to 100% health, back to work, and I haven't worked in, like, I haven't worked in over a year, um, back problems and stuff like that. I was a truck driver for, like, the last six years. Uh, I started having troubles with my back, so... That was I was already off for that, and then you know I started getting you know my stomach problems, and, uh, which I, I still get stomach problems now. And I mean some days I'm fine, but when some days when I think about it and I get nervous, my stomach starts to hurt real bad. I mean I've been in an ambulance like maybe 15 times. I mean I've been in a hospital over and over and over because I was like getting that sad pain, and it was just like it was. It was unbearable to the point I was like, I was curled up on the floor in like the fetal position, like just curled up. Like, I mean, and, and people don't understand. Like, like I said, my friends, they used to be like, man, you all right, man, it can't hurt that bad. It can't hurt that bad. But that that's what used to piss me off. Cause I'm like, yo, you don't understand this pain level. And then to find out I actually got a tumor on top of that. And then it's just like, you know, it messed me up. And then, like I said, I had just moved back in with my mom. And, you know, I was having these issues. My mom was the only one I was talking to about the issues. And, you know, she was encouraging me, yo, go to the hospital. You know, go to this hospital. Like, so I ended up going to different hospitals at the time. Because I was like, I want to figure it out. UVA Hospital not doing nothing. So I went to Martha Jefferson Hospital. They're not doing nothing. Um, I mean, they're doing a little something. But they're like... Oh, at the end of the day, it's just like, it's just acid reflux, just acid reflux. It may be the case, which is fine. You know, I did have, you know, the inflammation to the stomach. I do have the acid reflux, which I'm taking medication for that. But I had, like, some friends that were just like, man, you fine, man. It's just a mind thing. And then I had, like, some other friends that was like, hey, man, you need to go to this hospital. You need to demand they do an ultrasound. You need to demand it. So that's what I ended up doing. So that's how they end up, you know, saying, you know, I did the ultrasound. They said it was a cyst. And then, you know, they did the MRI. Then they did a CT scan. And, and you know, then they did the biopsies. I did the two biopsies. And then I did, you know, and then 
So all this time, you know, I'm like my last four or five appointments, I'm going to, you know, the cancer center speaking with the gastrologist and then I'm speaking with the surgeon, um, which is Dr. Uh, Say Foodum. It can be the doctor uh, doing the surgery. So I've been talking to him and um, like I said, it's just scary because, you know, I'm going in a cancer center and I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking like, man, I'm just 36 years old and I'm just like, and I'm walking into a cancer center. But like I said, everything goes smooth. Um, they said I wouldn't have to do any chemo. Um, I'll get the surgery, you know, I'll bounce back. I have to change my eating habits. I have to take maybe the insulin, the enzymes for the rest of my life. And I mean, which I'm really good at like taking care of my body. So that's probably not the issue, but I'm not gonna drag the story out no longer, but um, definitely, man. If you got any words of encouragement, man, drop them in the uh, drop them in the in the comments. Definitely subscribe. Like I said, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, man. And uh, we're gonna get this journey rock and rolling, man. I'm gonna update these videos, and I'm just gonna keep dropping videos, dropping videos. You know, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get back, man. I'm gonna get back to 100. So, you know, man. I'll see y'all later, man. Thanks for watching the video if you see this video.